A while back, I recorded a video of the process for reinforcing your nails with ping pong balls. Bit of an odd one, but it's something that I've been doing for about 10 years now, and I often attribute it with being the single most transformative thing I've done for my own playing. But it certainly brings up a lot of questions, and one of those is to do with tone. Is there a big difference between natural nails and ping pong ball nails? So I thought I'd do a video addressing exactly that, so we can find out what the differences are. At the moment, my nails do not have ping pong balls on them, and I've just spent some time finding them nice and smooth. So let's have a listen and hear how they sound. I'm going to play a little extract from this book here, because a little bit of product placement never hurt anyone, did it? So, here we go. Right, so there's a bit of a reference for you, and I actually found that quite interesting because I've it's been ages since I played guitar without ping pong balls in them, and yeah, I don't have anywhere near the confidence to kind of dig in. And also, I've just kind of noticed that you know that, that the actual shape of my nails is different from finger to finger, right? And for example, my index finger nail is ever so slightly hooked as it grows out. And as a result, there can be this inconsistency, and I was feeling that as I was playing, a bit of inconsistency with the attack from one nail to the next. So one might sound a little bit sharper, a little bit thinner when compared to the other. And that's certainly something that I find when I put ping pong balls in them. It kind of just naturally gives each nail a, a kind of a more consistent curve. And as a result, you can get kind of slightly more consistent sound, I think. But everyone's nails are different, of course. But just to say, like, the main reason I started doing this with ping pong balls um, had nothing to do with tone whatsoever. It was all about just having more strength in the nails, because I was finding that after I was playing a gig on steel strings, my nails would just be completely shredded. I'd have to file them down, and they'd just get shorter and shorter and shorter. So it wasn't ideal at all. And because it's been a while, I just want to kind of test that theory a little bit. I'm just going to sit here and I'll just time lapse it. I'm going to play for like 10, 15 minutes and just see how I feel with these natural nails. And I'll check back in with any kind of observations I have um, after using ping pong balls for so long. <laughs> I, I didn't even make it for 15 minutes. I'm just so conscious of uh, <laughs> my nails getting shredded. But that was really interesting, actually, because one of the things that I really noticed was that the scratchiness on the wound strings is, is seems to be way more to my ears with natural nails as opposed to ping pong balls. And I guess that makes sense because with the ping pong balls, you've got a slightly kind of larger surface area. It's not such a sharp edge. I also found that I was capable of getting a tone that I was really happy with, you know, quite warm and round but it wasn't as consistent as I have become used to with using ping pong balls. Like, as I mentioned earlier, the little hook on my index finger was kind of a slightly irritating thing because one note in a chord might just get a little bit spikier as a result of that. So yeah, it's kind of confirmed <laughs> the reasoning behind my choice to use ping pong balls in the first place all those years ago. But now let's do the comparison. Let's get some ping pong balls under these nails. I'll get them filed down and then we can kind of hear what a difference that makes. I'll play the same tune again for you. So I'll see you again once I've done my nails. All right, all done. Ping pong balls successfully installed. You might be able to see they look a little bit whiter uh, to the camera there. It's worth saying that I only use the ping pong balls on the index, middle and ring fingernails. I've never found that my thumb actually really needs it. So Let's listen to the same bit of music again now that we've got the ping pong balls installed and have a listen and see if you can hear anything different. <laughs>
there we go. That feels so much better to me, uh, back in my comfort zone there. I have so much more confidence, kind of digging into the strings with a little bit more power. There's much more consistency across each nail in terms of the curve and how it feels against the string. And to my ears, it just sounds a little bit softer, a bit rounder, a bit warmer. There's less scratchiness on those wound strings as well. Hi folks, this is a future version of me here as I'm just in the middle of editing this video and it occurred to me that actually a side-by-side -side comparison of those two recordings might be quite helpful so you can really hear some of those subtle differences between like the ping pong ball nails and the natural nails. So I've edited that together. I'm just gonna pop it in here now before the end of the video so you can have a little listen and see what you think. All right, back to me. <laughs> I'd also love to hear from you down in the comments below about any differences you are hearing. And have you tried this method of nail reinforcement before? Did it work out for you? Did it not work out for you? It's certainly not for everyone. And obviously there's lots of other ways of doing it with false nails and acrylic and gel nails and all that kind of thing. And, you know, I just find it interesting hearing uh, from other players about that conundrum of nails on steel strings. I'll also link my walkthrough video of the process of installing these ping pong ball nails down below in the uh, description if you're interested. And I think that's about it for now. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. <laughs>